Brian, Hark, have you heard the rumors of Mass Effect and Dragon Age in the same universe? I've heard of that. I've heard of fan speculations, and I think it could definitely happen. I mean, the universe is a large thing, so Thetis could that very well be on some planet in the Mass Effect universe. Um, Nelsonian, Hark, do you watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? If so, have you seen the 2014 films? Um, I Teenage Mutant, Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was my favorite cartoon of all time. No. Probably, it's a toss-up. TMNT is a toss-up between, uh, my favorite cartoon is a toss-up between TMNT and DuckTales. I love DuckTales too. But, but yeah, TMNT was definitely by far one of my favorites of all time. Um, I haven't seen the recent Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film yet. I want to, though, although I heard that it wasn't that great, especially if you're a hardcore TMNT fan. I heard that it was a little disappointing. But I'm probably going to watch it anyway, because I'm still a fan of fan of the franchise. So, uh, Fahrenheit game is awesome. I remember playing that back in 2005. I, I, I'm definitely considerate. I definitely will consider playing Fahrenheit. Um, Fahrenheit is amazing until the last half. Yeah, that's kind of what I heard, but I probably will still play it anyway. Um, Mud Puppy, I'm going to get this one and The Walking Dead one. I love art in it, even though I don't know anything about Borderlands. Um, Canaris, have you played Alpha Protocol Hark? That game has a fantastic story, though the gameplay is not that great. I've actually never heard of Alpha Protocol, so I'm going to have to take a look at that. Freelance Police Fan, you better play Sam and Max. Freelance Police Fan for life. Okay, I, I will definitely seriously consider that. I definitely will seriously consider that. Is Hart going to have trouble catching up again? Yes. If, if this, that message was... I, I don't know how long ago you posted that message, Excessin. It was probably like, what, 10 minutes ago? If you water an apple tree with apple juice, is that cannibalism? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll say yes. Uh, Iron Book. It's almost 11 p.m. here in Portugal. Wow, Iron Rubber Duck, you are a trooper. Thank you for staying up so late uh, to hang out with me. Excess and technically not Canaris. Uh, Nelsonian, I love that voice that that Vaughn is is voiced by Chris Hardwick. I know, I love, I heart, I heart Chris Hardwick as well. Love him. Uh, I want, I just want to cuddle with that man. <laughs> My fiance, by the way, can't stand Chris Hardwick, and it's not because I crush on him. My fiance can't stand him because he 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 loves The Walking Dead, and um, he hates it when when he's watching the Walking Dead TV show um, when it cuts to a commercial. If you're in a very like emotional, deep, intense scene um, and then it, in the show and then it cuts to a commercial and then you see um, uh, all of a sudden you see Chris Hardwick go, hey everybody, Chris Hardwick here, blah, 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 blah. He hates that because it totally takes him out of, takes him out of the element, out of the mood. And, and, and that's really the only reason he doesn't like Chris Hardwick, is he just doesn't like Chris Hardwick always spoiling the mood whenever the commercial hits. But, but I, love, I love Chris Hardwick, and every time he says, every time I say that around him, he groans, because he can't stand Chris Hardwick. But I was like, but I, but, but, but I love him, but I love him. <laughs> um, Hark is handsome in a friendly kind of way. I'll take that, I'll take that, handsome in a friendly kind of way. Uh, Excessin, looking forward to the Game of Thrones stream. We'll attempt to help you with lore stuff without spoiling. Yes, please, Excessin, help without spoiling. That's that's perfectly perfectly cool. Straight Banana 2. I'm not a big fan of Game of Thrones, but I'll watch anyway just for you. Oh, thank you, Banana. Nelsonian, Hart, do you have or used to wear glasses? Yes, yes, I did. I wore glasses for the longest time. Um, very large, nerdy-looking glasses. Then I wore contacts through college, and then I got LASIK several years ago. I love LASIK. So my eyes got zapped, although I didn't have one of those, you know, eye implants, those awesome eye implants that Vaughn has. But hey, Google Glass works just as fine. Uh, Arkham Asylum is on PC. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know. Um, freelance police fan. The only reason I bought Game of Thrones is because it was made by Telltale, and I thought it was pretty good. Okay, good. Uh, that, 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 that's good. That's pretty much why I'm playing it. Uh, Hark, have you in the past watched anime like Dragon Ball Z or Naruto, which both have new games coming out in 2015? I watched a little bit of Dragon Ball Z, didn't really get into it much. Naruto, didn't, I haven't actually started watching Naruto. I think I saw a few episodes, but didn't really catch me. I, 
this is, I, 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 I'm a little embarrassed to see that to, to say this, but I, I don't care. Uh, the, 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 I, I like a lot of girly animes. You know, a lot of girly animes. I was huge into Sailor Moon. I'm really loving the Sailor Moon crystal. Obviously, I love Pokemon. I love the Pokemon anime, although I'm so behind, extremely behind on the Pokemon anime. Um, I loved Ranma one half. Again, these are old, old games back in the 90s. Um, which goes to show when was the last time I saw a recent anime. Um, I liked Elder Scrolls. I liked, um, there was another, there was another anime that I saw that I, oh, Death Note. I love Death Note. Hadn't finished Death Note, but it got so intense. It was really got me on the seats. I'm sure there's tons of anime out there that I would love to get into, but I, I just don't have the time. You know, it's, it's either, it's either anime or video games. And for me, video games win when it's that choice. So... Uh, Hark needs a theme song. I have a theme song. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. That's my theme song. Canaris, have you seen Attack on Titan? I have not. If not, maybe it would be a fun idea to do a live reaction series where you react to an anime. That might be interesting. I might be doing that. Although I'm afraid that if I do, then I'll get hooked on that anime and it'll suck all my time. That's the biggest... Of... Yeah, how sad is that? That my biggest fear is that I'll actually like something. That's my biggest fear. I'll actually like something and then I'll add something else that'll keep me busy from other things that I might like. Straight Banana, is it the same capture card you used for Journey because you had some problems then? Yes, it is the same. Yeah, I had a lot of problems with, with Journey as well. Um, yes, Anime with Heart, great idea. <sighs> Maybe. I, I, I might. We'll see. If there... if uh, I'll see. I do want to have fresh new things on my channel, so maybe I'll do some sort of anime. If you guys know a very short, very short anime that I could react to, um, maybe maybe you'll be able to entice me. Uh, the Iron Rubber Duck. Hark, have you heard of a game called Spec Ops um, The Line or Online? It's a third-person shooter, but has one of the best stories in shooter and one of the darkest ever. I've heard of it. Um, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. It's almost midnight in Belgium, 24 hours till 2015. Hooray! Um, Nameless, Dire, Nameless Red Wolf also thinks that's MMX is fantastic. The Nerdist for the win. Yes, Arid. Yes. Uh, Canaris. Alpha Protocol is an action RPG gameplay. Or action RPG gameplay similar to Mass Effect, where you are a James Bond-like special agent. That's cool. There are dialogue choices kind of like Borderlands game you just played, also with a timer. Interesting. I find that I, I am not big into I, I am not as big into role playing games where you play a lone ro a lone wolf a lone wolf. Um, for example, Deus Ex Human Revolution was a fun game, but it didn't I, I, I wasn't as passionate about it as say Mass Effect or Dragon Age that had a party system that had like a, you had a party that that traveled with you and therefore you were able to interact with you know over the course of the story um even uh even though walking dead was a point and click it had that feel that party feel because you had this group that you were always with i like i need social interaction and i i just there is social interaction with you know in the game but it's just people npcs that you meet and then you don't really develop any relationships with them so so that's one of the reasons why I didn't really like games like I ended up not liking Skyrim very much um, because you didn't have followers, but it's very shallow at best. And that's why I don't think I'm going to like Witcher. A lot of people want me to play Witcher. I don't know, guys. I don't think I'm going to like it as much because it doesn't have a full party. At least I don't think it has a full party. I think you are pretty much adventuring around. And, and I'm sure there's going to be um, companions that you interact with every once in a while, but if it's anything like, like, um, cause you do have companions in Deus Ex, you know, you had that pilot and then you had the, the scientist guy, but that wasn't enough for me. I just didn't. So that's the only reason why many of you think that I would enjoy Witcher and I don't think I will as much, but I could be wrong. Um, we'll see. Um, 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 um. you almost sounded like Chris. Are you talking to me? Uh, maybe. Uh, mud puppy, I can't do the LASIK thing. People zapping me with eyes and the eyeballs freaks me right. Yeah, I mean, if you're... See, I'm I'm the kind of person who never had a problem touching my own eyes. Like, getting... Like, messing around with my eyes never bothered me. So, it, it was painless, though. But it's psychologically, I'm sure it can be very nerve-wracking. See ya, Vincent. Thanks for coming. 
Mud Puppy, my favorite part of the Pokemons is the theme song. You teach me and I'll teach you Pokemon. Yeah, yes. Don't blame me, Pokemon is extremely long. Um, Canaris, Attack on the Titan is around 25 episodes. If you choose one, please go with Attack on Titan. It's available in English as well as Japanese. Okay. Dark Alphambi, well, just finished the main story part of Inquisition. What do I do with my life now? <laughs> Replay Inquisition, that's what I did. I'm replaying it right now. Fallout, not to your liking then. Fallout was interesting. I I liked Fallout way more than Skyrim. I liked Fallout way more than Skyrim. I think a lot of it is because I actually live in the DC area. So I think the fact that the world that you were going around, the apocalyptic world, was my hometown, essentially. Um, that probably drew me in. And I don't know. It, 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 um... It was one of those games where I I did genuinely enjoy it um, um, until the point where I beat the game. And once I beat the game, I was done. I didn't really have to play. I didn't I didn't explore and go go find all the all the um, side quests because it didn't really I didn't feel motivated to. I kind of wanted to move on and play another game. So during the time I played Fallout, yes, I absolutely loved and enjoyed it. But once I was done with it, I was done with it. I didn't have to play through it again. Or And New Vegas, I consider playing New Vegas because I heard it was a lot better game than Fallout 3, but again, I haven't I haven't gotten to it. And I kind of, I heard from Kathleen um, that um, the companions are a lot better. The companions in that game are a lot better. And you can actually have, like, gay romances in that. So, who knows, maybe. Who knows. It's it's not on the top of my list, but I'll, I'll keep it on there, just in case. Straight Banana 2. And every single episode ends with a cliffhanger. Watch the whole thing in one sitting. Okay, that's cool. Um, 88, who else wants Fallout 4? I would consider playing Fallout 4. Canaris, you don't have a party in Alpha Protocol, but there are support characters that you develop relations with, which relationships with. The game also features romances if you choose to pursue them. Okay, that could be enough to draw me in. That, that could be enough. I'll have to look into that. Um... Ark is hot. Well, thank you. I don't think I've... Those words I've never really seen very much put together. So thank you, the Ark Herald Angel Sings. Now I'm leaving. Bye, Ark Herald Angel Sings. Nelsonian. Also, Hark, just some advice. If you're doing a live stream, watch out for troll attackers. I had two YouTubers that I am friends with had their live streams at trade, invade with trollers, posting pictures and racism. That goes against what YouTube wants. It was funny, but scary at the same time for me. So we had the troll attack part out before... YouTube could find out about that. Yeah, thank you for thank you for that advice. I'll keep that in mind. So far, we haven't had a problem, and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't become an issue. Um, let's see. Um, I like Fallout way more than Skyrim. Canaris approves. Um, Hark the Vault Hunter. Yeah, I think I actually did name my main character Hark. I think I did name him that. Persona 4. See, a lot of people have been telling me about Persona 4. Persona 4 is something that always intrigued me. Nameless Red Wolf. Persona 4 is my favorite game of all time, and its biggest focus is on the interaction with your party members. Ooh. It has a really good story with fantastic characters. Also, Troy Baker and Laura Bailey are both in it. I am sold. I am sold. Both Troy Baker and Laura Bailey. Persona 4. This has to happen at some point. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So many games, guys. You don't understand. There's so many games. Oh, straight banana too. Always watch anime in Japanese. Um, would you play the Far Cry series? Maybe Grand Theft Auto. Maybe, maybe again, not on the top of my list, but maybe Grand Theft Auto. I enjoyed playing. I don't know if I would be able to play a full playthrough of it from from beginning to end. Um, I really love Persona Four. However, I think the overall story of Persona Three is much better. Good to know. Canaris, New Vegas has a hardcore mode where you have to eat, sleep, and drink, otherwise you die. Wow, that's pretty that's pretty interesting. I kinda like that realism there. Freelance police fan, I just bought a fellow a Fallout New Vegas on Steam and created my character and I haven't played it since. Um, your choices matter more in New Vegas too. Um uh, is the game from Boom Jinx, is the game Life is Strange on your radar? It looks to be kind of like a Telltale Games, five-part episodic story-driven game, first episode coming out on January 30. I've heard of Life is Strange, and that's something that's definitely on my radar. 
I it looks like a game that yes, just like like the Telltale feel. I might I, I I'm seriously considering LPing that. I think it would I think it would be really fun and interesting. Um, Nameless Red Wolf. I disagree. Dark Elf MZ. I love Persona Three, but I wasn't attract attached to the story as I was with PS with Persona Four. P Persona Four had a more unique story, in my opinion. Um, Canaris, Hark, how do you feel about the Metal Gear Solid series? It's my favorite series of all time. I loved Metal Gear, so Metal Gear Solid. Loved, 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 loved Metal Gear Solid. And then, I, from then, I didn't really like the games as much. I didn't like Metal Gear Solid 2 or the one with Raiden. I wasn't a big fan of. I watched my brother play the, the next Metal Gear one where, where Snake is an older an older man on the PS4. I think it was on the PS... PS3? No, PS3. It was on the PS3. And I I thought it was okay, but it just didn't grab me as much. I don't know. There was just something about the original Metal Gear Solid that I just really liked. And then all other Metal Gear Solid titles after that, I wasn't... I, I could I kind of take it or leave it. Mostly leave it. They're okay. Um, Dark Elf MSB. A bit, maybe, but for me, the urgency of the storyline in Persona 3, as well as the theme, just speaks to me more than the very small and isolated plot of Persona 3. Different strokes for different folks. Herod88, is there a machine where I can split myself so I can play more games? Yeah, I, I need that too. Um, Troy Baker is in Far Cry 4. He plays the main villain. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. Uh, Hark, have you ever played an Assassin's Creed games? Um, mm, I have the first game. I bought it, but I never really played it. Um, and again, it looks a little wolf lone wolfy. So I don't know if it's going to really keep me interested for that long. Is that's the only thing? Um, mostly leave it. Canaris approves. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, I really want to play Persona One and Two. What's your approval at, at the moment, Canaris? Oh, Canaris disapproves. <laughs> okay. So I, I guess I do want to ask you guys some questions. I want to ask um, what your what are your opinions of this game? Going back to board, going back to Borderlands. Um, what are your opinions of this first episode so far? I've already given my opinion. And what are some of your predictions of what's going to happen next in the plot? Um, just, so just, just as out of curiosity. Um, it's being published by Square. The devs for Life is Strange is indie, I believe. Oh, published by Square. That's really interesting. Um, if you do try Ryo, Ryo Hawkwar, and if you do try out Persona 3, 4, be sure to opt for Persona 4 Golden or FES if you get the chance. Sometimes they're on sale on the PlayStation Network. From 1 to 100, he's around 75%. He's good. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if, um, again, if you guys have any opinions on the game, go ahead and, and put it down. Um, put it down below. If you have other last minute questions before I close, get them in right now so I can answer them um, as we're winding down. Nelsonian, Hark, I know you don't play horror games, but would it be too much for you to play Outlast? Maybe? I scare very easily, guys. I scare very easily. And I, I don't enjoy... That's the thing. I don't enjoy being scared. A lot of people watch horror movies or watch play horror games because they enjoy getting scared. And that's very foreign to me. I have no pleasure getting scared at all. None. So if I don't enjoy the game, I, what's the point? Other than maybe trying to farm more viewers and subscribers, because I don't play a game. I don't play a game to farm for viewers and subscribers, and you know I have to genuinely enjoy a game. I don't know. I, I, that being said, I have no idea if I necessarily would not like to play Out Outlast, Outcat, whatever that, whatever, whatever it is. Um, uh, Outlast. I don't know if I wouldn't necessarily like Outlast. It's just, you know, that's why I shy away from, from scary games. Um, Handsome Jack is Reese's father. Totally no Star Wars reference. Uh, Straight Banana 2 says, this game surprised me a lot. Why did it surprise you, Straight Banana? Um, oh, P4G is only available on the PlayStation Vita. 
So, um, for freelance police fans' opinion, I loved it. I have no idea what's going to happen next, besides that August is going to kill everyone. Everyone. Um, Excessin says, excuse me, Excessin says, I joined this far more than the last few Telltale titles, actually. Very impressed by the writing, the humor, and all that. Great. Canaris, Hark, I know you don't play our games, but would it be too much for you to play Alan Wake? Now there's a game I think I would get into. Alan Wake is a scary game, and I tried playing the first hour of it, and I was I was pretty intrigued by it. I still got scared of it, but I think the story... that the, the I guess it depends on the story. If the story really grips me, I can get past the scariness of it. Like, I love Resident Evil 2. I loved Resident Evil 2. It was horrifying, but the story was so good to me, the, and the way they told the story with Leon and Claire and being able to play one right after the other was so awesome that I was able to get over the scary part. It was, it was, it was awesome. Resident Evil 6, again, I like the story in Resident Evil 6. It wasn't really as scary unless you were playing Leon's game. So yeah, if, if the story is that good, if the characters are that good, um, I can look past the scary, they have scary aspects, but it still doesn't mean that the scary aspects, I enjoy it in the least. I don't like, I don't like it, don't like it at all. Um, Dark Elf MSV. so if you want to record them, then you'd better off playing the original ones on the PS2. Alan Wake is really good. I've heard, I've heard great things about Alan Wake, Arid. Um, Straight Banana 2, what are your thoughts on Nintendo winning Developer of the Year? I didn't know that they did. Really, Developer of the Year, that's pretty cool, because... Nintendo has sort of been kind of pushed to the wayside a little bit behind, you know, behind some of the other developers. And, um, and uh, I, I mean, kudos to them. I grew up, I grew up as a Nintendo kid. I had, you know, my NES. When Super Nintendo came out, I was, I was on Team Super Nintendo as opposed to Team Sega Genesis. I mean, that was just, I loved my Nintendo. It was N64. Um... I've always been a Nintendo kid for the longest time, and then when PlayStation came out, I started being a little bit leaning more, sort of leaning more towards PlayStation because I I ended up in appreciating more of the games on the PlayStation. So, um, but I, I'm happy for Nintendo for winning Developer of the Year. Canaris, Alan Wake isn't the jump scare type of horror; it's more of a psychological thing, which is fine. I I actually yes, I think I'm okay with the psychological jump scares. I'm not a big fan of, even though I know you guys love it when I. When I freak out with jump scares, I know you guys enjoy that. But Sage Fox 100, not knowing Borderlands, I have little clue what is happening. But the characters have great chemistry with each other. I agree, Sage Fox. I agree. Freelance police fan, Alan Wake is awesome, and it's more psychological horror than jump scares. Yes, 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 yes. Excess and shh, guys, Hark is asking those questions now. Thank you, Excess and you're so sweet, Excess and hugs, hugs for Excess and Dark Elf MSB. Also, Outlast is a game that is very much like the original Amnesia. Also, it has the problems that Amnesia had that in the end it wasn't scary, it was just annoying. I, I didn't like Amnesia. I played it a little bit. Sales Leader Carson, if you're watching. I played it a little bit and I thought it was okay. I, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it and play it. I thought it was okay. Not, not really my thing. And again, it's first person, so I was getting a little bit dizzy while I was playing it, unfortunately. Oh, stupid motion simulation sickness. Nelsonian, though it's a good game, episode 1, 8 out of 10 for, for this game, for Borderlands. I can't give an official rating for the Borderlands game until it's complete. Fair enough, Nelsonian. Nameless Red Wolf, to clarify, Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 FES are remakes of Persona 4 and 3 respectively. They have a lot of added content. Persona 4 Golden has about 30 hours of added content. Uh, Straight Banana 2, it surprised me because I thought the focus would be in action. And gore, I didn't know Borderlands was known for its humor. Yeah, it is, actually. It really is. It, um, the humor is a very important component of, of a Borderlands game. So I'm happy that they were keep, able to keep it intact. Nelsonian. I do think the Borderlands Episode 1 is better than The Wolf Among Us. I agree with that. I do enjoy this more than The Wolf Among Us. Uh, and The Walking Dead Season 1 and The Game of the Thrones first episode. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Canaris, the U, Wii U is the only console to own if you have a good PC, in my opinion. Uh, Nelsonian, Hart, did you know Norman Reedus, the actor for Daryl, is the model for... Yes, yes, for the main character. Yep, yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. It's, it's kind of neat. I, 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 I'm, I'm a big Norman Reedus fan, huge Norman Reedus fan, for, ob ob for obvious reasons. Come on now, let's be real. I'm not even going to even pretend and lie about that. Eighth genera generation console, at least. Um, 
be right back, everyone. Oh, Arid, maybe I'll see you later, hopefully, if I don't sign off soon. Um, Persona, Dark Elf MZ, Persona 3, FPS is basically the original game with an added explanation. Persona 4, Golden, have a bunch more content throughout the game. Um, do you want to know what nationality all of us is? Or, yeah, actually I do. If you guys don't mind, I would love to know where all of you guys are coming from. Like where 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 you guys are watching from? I think that would be pretty cool. I'd love to. It, it, it's always great to see um, how diverse you guys are. In addition to that, I have one more question. I do have one more question for you guys. Um, I like I said, this is my very first time doing a live stream like this, so I'm always trying to find ways um, to do better and to be, be uh, to be more entertaining for you guys and to have a more positive experience for you guys. So if you could just please give me some feedback on this live stream and just tell me um, what are the, some of the things you liked, what are some of the things you didn't like, um, especially if there are things that I can change or fix or help with. So um, if there's anything that you think I can, um, that I can improve on, let me know and I will try my very best to improve upon it in the future so that I can hopefully continue getting better at this and, and um, have you guys enjoy this experience as well. Um, for me personally, I thought it was a really great experience. I once I got the echoing again, my apologies for the echoing at the beginning. Once I got that figured out, um, I also thought that the I, 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 I hopefully things got a lot smoother. I started annoying you guys less. So so yeah, just give me feedback, what you liked, what you didn't like, and what I can try to improve on, and I'll do my very best to address those the next time, maybe even as early as this Friday when I do the um when I do the um. Game of Thrones, that game, that game. So, um, uh, the Iron Rubber Duck is Portuguese. Oh, nice. Canaris is from Amsterdam, Netherlands. 13, wow, 13 a.m. there. You are such a trooper, Canaris. Thank you so much for sticking with me this late. Dark Hill Thimsy, oh, I didn't realize you were Danish. Oh, Dark Hill Thimsy. I love the Danish. XSN's from Denmark. Yes, yes. Oh, Germany. Oh, I love my German German brothers and sisters. Uh, a lot of you guys from, from Europe. That's great. Oh, I love you guys. Uh, woo, Denmark. Denmark, bro. Uh, straight man out of the Dutch-speaking part of Belgium. Very cool. Nameless Red Wolf is from Canada. Love my Canadian cousins. Sage Fox is America. America. Shim Mystic is in the UK. Love the UK. I'm going to probably watch more Doctor Who after this while I'm letting this movie, let, letting this render for a bit. Uh, Nelsonian says, Hark, assuming you watch Home Alone, which is your favorite movie out of the five? Uh, Home Alone. Are you talking about, oh, the Home Alone movies? I've only seen the first three. Um, I've only seen the first three. And it's. I know it's not the best out of the three necessarily, but I really like the first one because... I saw it when I was a little kid, all right? I thought I saw it when I was like eight, eight, ten years old. And so it was one of my favorite movies as a kid, one of my favorite movies. And I just have a soft spot for it, even though I look on by, back on it now and kind of cringe. But um, I have a, there's a special spot in the first one for me. And yeah, so. Uh, Excess and I absolutely have love how interactive you are with all of us, even when we ramble at times. Yeah, and it's, it's, I, I try to balance that because I go on my non sequiturs and I start talking about things that have nothing to do with this game. And I try not to do that for very long um, because if you guys say something, something pops into my head. And naturally, if something pops into my head, whether it's a non sequitur or not, I end up spitting it out, sharing it with you guys. So I apologize if that annoys you. I'll try not to do it too much. But for those of you, for example, who were big Doctor Who fans, I'm sure you appreciated when I was, you know, fangasm over Doctor Who. And um, when people are asking me about, you know, other things, it was neat to be able to share with you, for example, my work, my job, and just more insights into... I'm a very open person, guys. I'm a very open book. There's very few things that I keep private to myself. It re there really is. So if you ask me a question, I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Um, so, so, yeah, I'll try to do the best I can. Uh, Brian, Brian W is from the UK. Yeah, UK. I love you guys over there. Dark Elf MZ. Wait, there's five Home Alone movies. There was only three released in in Europe. Uh, yeah, apparently. Uh, Iron Dove. I love the live stream. Thank you. I love that you guys were able to come. 
Mudbuffy510. This live stream was great. The only bad part was when the credits were rolling and music was super... Yeah, I, I couldn't help that. I'm sorry. I, I realized as soon as it started, I was like, oh my gosh, the ears, the burning and the ears and the burning. So I'll try to be cognizant of that next time, earlier, sooner. Um, Mudpuppy510, this live stream was great. Oh, I already said that. Nelson, I have no issue with this live stream. I do like that we can see the chat and know where you're looking at. Mm -hmm. um, Erod88, I'm from Australia. Oh, oh, you Aussie. You Aussie folks are hot. <laughs> oh, you Aussie folks is hot. Erod, by the way, I think you have a very handsome face. I think you're an extremely handsome face, by the way. Um, just so you know. Heart. Um, freelance police fan. Portland, Oregon. Oh, okay. It's like 3.14 p.m. I wasn't here for the whole stream, but I really enjoyed it. The only nitpick I have is the game was a little laggy when you were streaming. Yeah, I don't know if that's something I can help. I have a very decent um, very decent connection, but I, I don't know how I can better fix that. Um, and it's actually a direct connection. I have, I have it connected directly through an Ethernet cable. It's not even, it's not even through the Wi-Fi. So I think that's about as good as I can get it. Um, Duskyon, I am from Wales, but I'm English. Well, thank you, uh, Duskyon. Thank you for watching. Canaris, uh, I think this stream turned out great. Nice face cam, visible chat, and the gameplay footage was clear. Cool. I liked your interaction with the stream monsters. Canaris greatly approves. Yay, I got my Canaris. I got my, my, my approval back. Mudpuppy510, I'm an American from Arizona. Thank you, Mudpuppy. Straight Panetta2, Hark, where do you live? Uh, Washington, D.C. area. I live in the Washington, D.C. area. I'll leave um, Excessin. Overall, this is definitely one of the best streams I've been a part of. Oh, thank you, Excessin. Um, that you know, I'll try to do again. I'll try to do everything that you liked in this live stream. I'll try to continue. I'll try to continue with that in future ones. Um, Dark Elf Demsey, I'm pretty sure that we've talked about my nationality before on your YouTube comments. Yes, yes. Excessin, I agree that Danes that the gains are great. Uh, Dusky one. I recommend Far Cry 4 and Alien Isolation. Yeah, uh, David was warning me that Alien Isolation was really scary. He showed me a couple clips, and I don't know. I don't know. Kia Chira. So many from Denmark. I'm surprised. Me too, by the way. Uh, the Iron Bark. Rubber Duck. How old are you, Hark, if you don't mind? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so, I am... I was definitely an 80s kid, so I'm actually probably a lot older than I look. Uh, I am 33. I'm 33 years old. I know, for some of you are like, ooh, he's so much older. He's an old man. Hiss. Hiss. Um, I don't know, but I like to think that, I, that I'm a pretty... I feel like to think that I'm a kid at heart. I'm a kid at heart. Um, and, uh, yeah, 33. Um, 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 what else is there? Uh, I lost my place. Um, Nelson also likes the first Home Alone movie. Um, Straight Banana 2, you should add a donation option on your stream, or maybe it's a little early. I would love to support some more. Uh, oh. See, here's the thing. I don't, and I've, I've mentioned this several times, I, I personally have made, I, I made a personal decision to not... Um, to, to not uh, monetize any of my videos. I don't monetize anything on YouTube. Um, and that's just a personal choice for me because I, I don't um, I don't make videos to make money. That's not why I do this. I make videos because I enjoy playing games and I like sharing my experiences with people. And that's the number one. That's the one of my motivation. The moment I start monetizing it, I just feel like you know there's that temptation of my my um, motivation of doing YouTube. There's a temptation to shift, you know, it's the gateway drug to to making videos. I don't want any part of the reason why I do this to be making money. It's just not it's just not what I want to do. So I don't I don't monetize at all. Um, and plus I think that YouTube tends to be a lot less strict on copyright stuff, I guess. I copyright stuff if you're not monetizing your videos. So there's another I remember when when there was that big there was this huge thing where so many people were getting copyright strikes left and right. A lot of YouTube Let's Players were getting copyright uh, strikes, and I was fine. I was perfectly fine, and I think a lot of the reason why I was safe and it didn't hit me is because I didn't monetize my videos. So that kind of was like, yeah, I 
don't think I'm monetizing my videos anytime soon because I don't want that to happen to me um, as much as possible. So, um, but I appreciate the thought. You guys don't have to give me anything. I mean, just just you guys hanging out with me. That's that's really. You don't have to give me anything. I mean, I'm. That's not my. I, I do it because I like to share stuff, and uh, I kind of want to keep it that way. Um, if I ever do, if there ever is a time, if I ever do monetize my videos, maybe YouTube will force everybody to monetize their videos. Um, if I ever do, I don't really feel like it'd be right for me to keep the money. I'd probably give it to charity. So yeah, if I ever were to um, get money off of my videos, I would like to give it to some sort of a charity instead of keeping it for myself because I just feel like it's better used. I have a job, guys. I have a really awesome job and I, I don't need any more money. Um, so yeah. Um, but we're Vikings, yes. Uh, you're welcome, Arid. Nelsonian, also one of the favorite TV shows I liked about Blackpool, David Tennant, who plays the Doctor I haven't watched. Oh, I didn't realize that David Tennant was in that. David Tennant, who is my favorite, a lot of people's favorite Doctor Who. I love David Tennant a lot. I'm actually not a big, I never was a big um, Matt Smith. Even, we're nearing the end of Matt Smith, and I just never really liked him that much. He's okay. I don't hate him. He's just far from my favorite. However, I love his companions. Matt Smith's companions love 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 rory amy river love them so much um matt smith's okay uh david tennant that man that man love him um boom jinx one small thing is your life your stream title says untitled broadcast i think you can change that in the twitch stats or somewhere yeah i'll have to look into that thank you for bringing that up boom jinx i did notice that you told me that earlier i'll try to See if I can fix that for for the um for my next live stream. Um, let's see. Let's keep it English, or we'll explode Hark's brain. <laughs> um, I'm in Edmonton, in Canada. Hey, Nelsonian. Um, straight banana two. See you, straight banana two. Thank you for coming. Um, don't start with the Scandinavian stuff. Um. Blah, blah, blah. I'm 37. Mud Puppy's 37. See? Okay. Mud Puppy's 37. Awesome. I'm 22. Aw, thank you guys for sharing me your ages. I was so embarrassed sharing mine, so I appreciate you guys sharing, sharing me all of your ages. Actually, I thought you were like 26 or 27. I think it's an Asian thing. I think it's the Asian thing that I look a lot younger. My, my, my fiancé, he actually... Um, he, he, he got, he started having gray hair. I felt, I feel bad for him and he hates it. He started having gray hair at a very early age, like around 17 or so. He started getting gray hair. So he actually looks older than me, even though I'm like four years older than him. But he's still cute. I still love him. He's still cute. Canaris. He makes him look more distinguished. Canaris, just remember, you don't, uh, you don't get too old to play games. You get old because you stop playing games. I like that, Canaris. I like that. Excessin, I'm 18. Yay, cool. I'm 18. I, I'm really ca glad that 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 um, I'm able to appeal to people of so many ages, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that no matter how old I get, you know, people who are like 18 don't get weirded out that they're watching some like 50, 60 year old playing video games. Hopefully they're not. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But um, I am glad that, that that I'm able to entertain people of a wide spectrum of ages. So thank you, guys. Uh, Sage Fox 100. So at 17, I think I might be the youngest. I don't know. Is anybody else here younger than 17? Um, Shy Mystic here. Um, 19 here. Oh, okay. Shy Mystic's 19. The Iron Rubber Duck. My dad is 44 and he plays a lot of video games, so I guess you're never too old to play video Yeah, it was totally different when I was a kid. When I was a lot younger, people older than 35, people older than 30 even, it was unusual. It was unusual to play video games or to be that much into video games because it was just that generation. You know, those kids and their newfangled gadgets and all that and their video games and their Pac-Mans and their Pongs. Um, I don't know. To them, it, they they thought of it as more of a child thing, childish thing, something that kids did. But now that my generation grew up with video games, it's that's been changing rapidly, and so now it's definitely not unusual for people of any age, no matter what age you are, to be into video games. So it, it, it the culture was very different when I was a kid. Um, 
Nameless Red Wolf is 21. Dark Elf Fantasy, I've tried that. It's far easier than the mid middle ladder. The soft Ds and Rs are impromptu for oh, us, for Americans. And with break, uh, Canaris, and with breakout English, I mean <laughs> breakout in Dutch. Uh, Dusky One, are you thinking of playing any multiplayer games at the Reclusi Arc Gaming? I really would like to. I really would like to. We have. It's been a while since we've. I've done a lot of let's talks discussions with Reclusi Arc with David, but we haven't done a multiplayer in a while. Um, and he asked me to, and we hadn't figured out a game to play together. So I, if you have any suggestions that you think both me and Reclusi Arc that we both would enjoy playing together, let me know. Um, uh, straight Banana Two, you make so much videos and you don't want its money. I love your no, I don't. I don't need money. Um, I want. I. 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 I yeah. Uh, is 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 that really hard to is that really hard to imagine? Hard to believe because I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. Um, I have you know I've got a good job. I've I'm I have a roof over my head. I've got I live a very comfortable life. I've got I've got sandwiches. I've got sandwiches and I've got. Biscoff European cookie spread, and I've got what is this over here? I've got Special K protein protein bars. I mean, what more can what more do you need, right? Ritz crackers. I've got roof over my head, food, clothes on my back, video games, video games. You know, loving family, fiance that I'm about to get married to. I don't need I don't need money any more money to be happy. Save that money for something else. Give that money to people who actually need it. Give give the money to somebody who actually really needs it. Who actually needs it to who are not necessarily in a very happy place, um, whether it's through donations and stuff. That's where you should be throwing your money at, not to me. Um, set up a patron if you want to monetization stuff. Uh, it'll generate income in a way that's it's the only way people want to give you money that do it. Um, Kiachara, I appreciate your attitude for Let's Playing. I join your Let's Plays a lot. Your way of interacting with the story is great. Thank you, Kiachara. Mud Puppy, yes, I love Amy Pond. Redheads, gingers, redheads, Amy Pond. Rory kind of is a gingery too. Yeah, yeah. I have a thing for gingers named Rory, it seems. Ugh, Arthur Darville. Love Arthur Darville. Um, Canaris, what's with this trend with Americans falling in love with British accents? Could someone explain this to me? You know, I love, I, I don't know either because I love British accents. Love, 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 love. Nothing makes me swoon more. Than, than British accents and Australi Aus Australian accents. Those are the two big ones that just kills me. I like putty in your hands if you can, if you have an accent. I don't know what it is. It just feels so, something about it to me just feels so smooth and charming. And to me, to me a British accent is very smooth and charming and it just has some sort of, I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it. There's just a ring of charm to it that it just draws me like a magnet. And then Australian accents has like this rugged, this really hot, rugged feel to it that 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 really does it for me. So I, I don't know how else to better explain it with that. Um, oh, the Iron Rubber Duck is 15. Awesome. Okay, so we've got some younger peoples in here. Kia Chara, uh, I prefer story-oriented games. To all the hack and slash and shooting, what's the point? It gets old fast. I, I mean, I don't, I don't knock people who enjoy hack and slash. I mean, there's an audience for, there's clearly an audience for it. So, I mean, I mean to each their own. Different strokes for different folks. I, I know that, you know, I'm the the games that I play. Not everybody likes. Not everybody enjoys. And that's all cool. I'm not out to. I'm not out to um, try to, you know, get. Um, I'm not out to cater to everybody. I'm, I'm, I just cater to the people who appreciates the stuff that I happen to do, that I happen to be interest, I'm interested in. You know, I'm not trying to be another PewDiePie by any means. I don't think anyone can. Um, you know, I just stick with what I enjoy, and if not everybody enjoys it, that's fine. But the few people who do enjoy my stuff, even if it's only certain parts of my stuff, even if they just jump around and don't necessarily watch every last minute of every single video, watch whatever you want. Do whatever you want, and I always encourage you to watch other people. I always encourage that's always constantly encouraging to watch other YouTubers because they deserve viewership as well. Um, yeah, Canadian Fury is sixteen, such a great age to me. Sixteen was always a, was a really good age for me. Canaris, I will probably end up being about seventy year old man still staring at Talizora's hips in Mass Effect Thirty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, um, free, bye freelance police fan, you're welcome, thank you for coming, 
Um, of course, this is my opinion to each other on gaming style. Nelson Onion, Hark, what is your favorite episode of All the Walking Dead Season 1 and 2 of the Telltale video games? Um, I will have to say episode 3 of Season 1, because episode 3 of Season 1 hit me hard in the feels, non-stop. Um, it was very painful, but it, it's definitely the episode that stuck in my head the most out of all ten of those episodes. So yeah, I'm going to say episode three of season one. Um, I wanted Recluse to play the Dead Space games, and he's a beast. I watched Recluse play the Dead Space Yeah, we're, Shali and I, we're still trying to play Dead Space together, but I don't think she's finished playing Dead Space 1, because she's, unfortunately, Shali's been, uh, this this winter... She's been hit pretty hard with with illness, and um, she hasn't been able to play, uh, post a lot of videos lately because I was talking to her about that earlier. So, um, I'm hoping, excuse me, I'm hoping we'll eventually um, be able to play, um, be able to play uh, that game together, Dead Space together. Um, the offer is, excuse me, mm, don't know what's going on. The offer is definitely still there. Um, uh, Nelsonian, Hark, do you watch Breaking Bad? Uh, my fiance, again, loves Breaking Bad. I watched the first episode and didn't particularly like it. I heard that I need to keep going. I need to keep going and keep watching more episodes. But I just, again, there's so, I'm so busy. And if a, if a show doesn't grab me in its trailer, if I'm not already grabbed in its trailer, I have I, I, I have to move on to something else because if I were to spend the time to watch the first five episodes or first season of every single show that people wanted me to see, I wouldn't have time for anything else. So the the only way that I am able to keep my sanity and able to keep the list low because it's still there's a lot of TV shows that I want to watch that I haven't been able to because I'm still trying to finish other shows like Doctor Who I'm, I'm still trying to finish. Um, so if a show doesn't grab me after the first episode, even though I probably would love it if I watched more, I can't afford that time right now. So it has to grab me in the first episode, otherwise I kind of move on. So Breaking Bad didn't grab me at all in episode one, so I stopped watching. Um, and that's... With, with Game of Thrones, I gave it to the fifth episode. I got up to the fifth episode as a favor to my fiancé because, because of the fact that I stopped watching Breaking Bad after the first episode, I told him, all right... I didn't like, I wasn't grabbed by the first episode of Game of Thrones. I'll keep watching. And I watched it for five episodes and just didn't, I didn't, didn't hook me. Um, the show didn't hook me, so I stopped. Um, Excessin also has a big thing for Redheads too. Nice. <laughs> I thought you were marrying Beyonce instead of Beyonce. Whoops. I don't think I ever had a female crush on Beyonce. I don't think I ever did. Mud Puppy Five Ten. I love British announcer Alan Askins too. Even when the person is dumber than the dirty, than the dirt, they sound smart. Even though when the person is dumber, dumb, they, they dumb than dumber than dirt, they sound smart. Yeah, I kind of, kind of. I, I guess as an American, I kind of find that too with people with with British accents. Donna Noble is my my favorite companion. Donna Noble's great. I love Donna Noble. Uh, Nelson, but I think that 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 Rory's still my favorite companion. And Captain Jack Hark. I mean, of course, Captain Jack Harkness. Captain Jack Harkness. I when somebody first told me to watch the show, they they knew they knew going in that I would fall in love with Captain Jack Harkness. Not be, not only because of his name, but because of the fact that he is a hot gay guy. Yeah, totally totally fangazzing over John Barrowman. Um, Nelsonian, or actually read that. Dark Elf MZ, um, Bayonetta might have been one of the best spectacle fighters ever made. The advanced term for hack and slash. Um, Hark, I have a feeling you would love the anime Fairy Tale. I think I've heard of that one. I might like that one. Dusky One, Far Cry 4 is a drop-in, drop-out co-op, but I think you'll only find the game fun because of spending time with Reclusi Art Gaming. I enjoyed the game on a single player, but I don't think you'd like it as much. I think that's fair. Um, the Iron Rubber Duck, are you going to continue to stream until the Game of Thrones last play? <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. I want to try to, you know, answer all of your questions as much as possible. So we'll see how late this goes. <laughs> um, at some point, the sandwich needs to be eaten. Uh, Kia Chira. Then we can count on a new year together. <laughs> Sage Fox. We just need to keep typing until Friday. <laughs> oh, you guys are cruel sometimes. I love it. Ryan W. There's a lot of British actors on American shows. We're taking over. Excess and Breaking Bad is absolutely amazing. I heard. I know. 
I, I, for those of you who love the show, I'm, I'm happy. I'm so happy you guys love the show. And um, I, I, I didn't say I wouldn't love the show. I didn't say I wouldn't love it if I ended up watching Breaking Bad past the first episode. I just can't right now. I just, I just am not able to at this moment. Uh, timing, time-wise, schedule-wise. Because um, if I do, again, it's the fear of loving someone. If I, I'm afraid that if I end up loving it, then I'm going to have to like marathon through them and not get everything else done. If you, if I start watching Breaking Bad, I'm, I, you know, my my let's plays will stop because I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to watch Breaking Bad before I get back to my let's plays. So you guys have a choice: either I watch these shows or I watch these animes, or you know, or I continue doing my doing my channel. Like, you have a choice. Right now, I prefer continuing on with my channel. Um, Canaris. Hark, would you mind if I send you a Twitch PM with a link to my DeviantArt page? Yes! I have some Star Wars-related stuff there that I would love to hear your thoughts on. Yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah, we can do that. Um, go, yeah, go ahead and send me a chat. Or actually, um, uh, you can send me... It might be easier, actually, to send me a YouTube, YouTube PM. That might be easier, if you could, please. Uh, Kia Chira, some of my favorite TV shows are British or Canadian. They seem to appeal to me more than most American made ones. Sherlock is another show I wanted to watch, but I just have another time. I want to watch Sherlock's. I want to watch Gotham. I want to watch Arrow. I want to watch... There's so many shows I want to watch. Cosmos. There's a lot of shows. Trust me, guys. I know I know. there's all these shows that I'm missing out on, and I just... I can only do so much in a, in a day and still, like, you know, go to work and feed myself. Um... Uh, your excessive. Your fiance has great taste in TV, Hark. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. He's trying to get me to start watching. I promised him that I would start watching The West Wing. So, so yeah. In order for me to keep that promise, I have to stay away from these other shows. Um, the West Wing is a big one he wants me to see. Nameless Red Wolf. I give everything three episodes to impress me. Good. You should. You should. If you have the time to do that, you should. Uh, Brian W. Yeah, I agree, but the shows are better. I was surprised how many shows are produced by Britain to Canada. Uh, Brian W. Captain Jack was great. It's a shame the new writer didn't want to revisit old characters other than River for obvious reasons. Yeah. I know. I missed Captain Jack. Do you watch, have watched Avatar The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra? Yes. Yes, I have. I have not finished Avatar The Last Airbender as in the, as in the, the cartoon series, not the movie that apparently everybody's telling me doesn't exist. Um, the cartoon, yes. I haven't finished it yet. Um, I'm about halfway through the series, I think, but I really like it a lot. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, Zuko is such a hoot. <laughs> Zuko's a hoot. Um, yes, that is one. It's not an anime per se, but it's in the same style. But I do enjoy it. Um, Excessive, if you answer all of our questions, we'll be here until New Year's, e New Year's Eve 2016. Hark, will you make a top 10 favorite video games and moments of 2014? Oh, I could. That's a good idea, actually. Maybe to, to, to commemorate 4,000 subscribers, do something for video games, uh, best moments. Um, Yeah, I'll see if I have time to do that. I, I There's a lot of... After this, I have to go make my 4,000 subscribers video. So, um, yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Um, Kira Richard, I love Avatar, both of them. One of the few animated TV series that also caught my father's attention. They're fun and still has a deeper meaning. Uh, Nelsonia and Hark, I do recommend you check out if there ever was... <laughs> I do recommend you check it out if ever if you ever have a marathon on a weekday. I need to, like, call in sick to work in order to do that. Dark Elfemzi, an anime I think you'd really like would be Bakuman. Bakuman. It's about a pair of manga authors and how they struggle to make it big. It's been... Complimented on how true to life it actually is. I've heard of Bakuman. I've heard of that. Was it Kathleenums? I think Kathleenums told me about that one. Yeah, she told me about that one. So I was intrigued. Mud Puppy 510, don't watch Breaking Bad. Go Let's Plays. <laughs> see, I figured that was the answer you guys wanted. Do the channel. Yeah, see, you see, priorities, guys, priorities. Canadian Fury 98. Weeds and Breaking Bad are in the same universe, right? Uh, maybe. Um, Brian W, if that's how you feel about your Let's Plays, Hark, trying to marathon through them. <laughs> Nelsonian, Hark, when The Walking Dead Season 5 returns, can you review the episodes? <gasps> that's a really good idea! I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to review video, or, or, or even react to TV shows. Oh! 
if you guys think that you would want to watch that, sure. I might even react, watch, I might even do reacts to that. Huh, that's a good idea. I'll think of, I'll think on that, Nelsonia, I'll think on that. Hmm. Dusky one, I'm completely opposite. I dislike British shows like Doctor Who, but I loved Game of Thrones in the books. I prefer the Walking Dead comic series over the show, and even though Norman Reedus is hot, I don't like Daryl. I, I hated Daryl in the beginning. I did not, I would not have minded if Daryl died in season one. Season two, he started to grow on me. Season three, I don't know what happened, but his spell, I, I adore Daryl. Season three onward, I love Daryl to bits, um, but I can understand why people still don't like him. Uh, I really like Merle from The Walking Dead, even though he was a rotten person, he was a compelling character. He was a compelling character. I still didn't like Merle. He was com he was compelling, and I still didn't like him. <laughs> but I think that's fair. Uh, don't give yourself too much to do, Hark. Uh, thank you, XS, and I'm trying not to. Um, you two PM said, Hark, the next Jer Jeremy Johns. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to talk to Hark. Talk uh, I'm going to start talking now so Hark can eat a sandwich. Thank you. Uh, the Iron Rubber Duck. Are you still interested in doing the Mass Effect tabletop game? Yes, that's another video I have to make. I have to make another video announcing my Mass Effect RPG tabletop campaign, which I am going to be doing. All viewers, it's open to viewers. I you you um you will have to submit an audition, I guess, to participate in it. And um, because right now I think we only have we have two uh, two sessions for my Dragon Age RPG campaign left so um i will be posting a video about what you need to do in order to try to audition for the mass effect rpg tabletop campaign that i will be dming hosting dming if you guys want to participate in that it should be a lot of fun for those of you who are into mass effect and or tabletop role-playing games um kia chair you're going to talk talking never heard that one you're going to talk talking never heard that one before uh, might just be clear. The reactions from you would be awesome. Nelsonian, don't, I hope you don't forget. I think there's one more month until it comes back. Yeah. Uh, okay. When and where? Dark Elf MSB, I'm not really sure. Are you asking about my tabletop campaign? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, look out for that. Uh, most likely the campaign will start in March. Um, because January, February is going to be very busy for me. Uh, February is very going to be very busy, packed, so I don't think I'd have the time to commit on the weekends to play. However, that doesn't mean that we we can't like create characters and prepare for it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out auditions and have the auditions end at the end of January and then have the selection process um, occur in February and then the actual campaign will begin in March. But I'm going to give I'm going to give more information about this later. Uh, Kiernaris, speaking of Mass Effect, there's a highly likelihood that we'll see something similar to Dragon Age Keep uh, for Mass Effect 4. Bioware mentioned that they wanted to expand the Keep to other franchises. Um, <laughs> that was a typo, stop talking, and now I'm talking again, dang it. Um, Dusko, my favorite Walking Dead character is the Governor. He's a great character. Um, uh, Kia Chair, I enjoy the Dragon Age tabletop campaign, though I haven't played in many years. I would be very interested in another one. Nameless Red Wolf, I'd love to get into tabletop gaming, but I don't think I'd be good at it. I'm much too shy for that kind of thing. I, I mean, it's it's a great way f for you to to come out of your shell and 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 practice. I guess not being shy, but anyway. Oh man, I want to go play Mass Effect now. Yeah, I know. See, see what you all did. Um, okay, I have to cut it off there, guys, because I'm starving and I need to eat my sandwich. That I that's been sitting on my table next to me for a while. So sorry if I if I wasn't able to answer any more of your questions. If you want to ask me more questions, come to the live stream um, for the the Game of Thrones live stream because we'll we'll do this again. Um, thank you guys for taking the time to hang out with me, especially if you were here from the very beginning, because um, that's a lot of hours to hang out with one YouTuber. Um, and if you guys came in later, I, I appreciate that you were able to um, spend whatever time you could from whatever it is that you were doing and keeping you away from here. So um, I just, you know, just wanted to say I appreciate you guys and helping me have a really fun. I had a great time too. I hope you all did as well. Um, and with that, uh, do 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 do.
can I see who's on this list? Can I see who's actually here? So, oh, wait, create a room. No, no, I can't see. Viewer list. So, to Kiachira, Kineris, Excessin, Shy Mystic, Nameless, Red Wolf, Mud Puppy 510, Raya Hokoran, The Iron Bull 143, Brian W, The Iron Rubber Duck, Arid 88, Nelsonian, Boom Jinx, Sage Fox 100, Mythos McLeod, Dark Elf Thamesby, Dusky One, The Assassin 2528, Canadian Fury 98. All of you, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Um, and I hope you guys have a rest of a good rest of your day. So um, for all of you out there, uh, I guess I will talk to you guys later. I got to go render this and post the first episode up tonight if I can. Uh, until next time, everybody, love yourselves and love each other.